Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to install a new ROM on LG E6 110. So the process is uh, quite simple, quite easy. So first step, you have to unroot your phone. Uh, the second step is um, if you press this button and you go just uh, reset to main factory the um, the phone you just need to unlock the bot menu so the both url both uh, link to the application it will be in description so for so let's begin first of all to start we need to go to the boot menu uh, just press three uh, push to three buttons at the same time this on the bottom this and this on the top so after the screen is on and the lg logo is coming you just take this take this and just keep pushing these two buttons before you enter to the menu so so watch my finger first of all I just press 3 okay take this these two this and this keep it okay we are in the menu so the second first of all we need to vibe so i'm gonna work with this 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 and this so to press ok just press the top button and after select yes and uh, install zip from sd card choose zip from sd card uh, go back the last one that was the wrong one so this one choose zip from external SD card uh, on my external SD card is some um, kind of folders so I copied the folders in on my SD card the ROM in the ROM install so just press enter and choose the I go through ROMs so like I did some testing and uh, this is the ROM okay and uh, yes wait until it's done I will gonna take more than a few minutes I'll take so So, uh, w why do I want to install the Android 4.4 on the LG? Is because I I do want to use some, you know, some application to make this phone like a security system. So, uh, so I do need this. So, after this, go back. Uh, whip again yes and uh, we have to install the gaps but what is this for gaps I don't know so so to install the gap I just do the same process and then go and this is gaps I don't know what is this for gaps but I'll give a try without any gaps and see how it's going so go back
and go back and IG is going to reboot system now so first of all you have to unroot or root your phone um, for this I did use a king root and um, one of the most important thing when I was pressing these three buttons I, I didn't go straight away to the, this menu boot menu but I was going just reset the factory phone so so I have if you be in the same situation where you cannot see the boot menu you just have to uh, unlock the boot menu and uh, they will be in description will be the the link to the application to install the application they just give you directory and it is not in the google play and uh, on the application you just install some kind of file manager copy the application on your sd card or any folder and go by file manager and uh, just select go to the that uh, path where you do copy the application could be in as the car or your phone and uh, just copy and paste and uh, just open it and it, it will ask you to install you know install the application so if you cannot install the application you just check on google so how to uh, install the application from sd card or this and they will give you uh, information about this so that's it for now so tada bye bye